Okay, we're here with Brian Newton. Brian owns Havasu Customs. Brian, how long have you been in business here in Havasu? Eight years. So you opened what year? 2005. Opened in 2005. Now you're originally from Denver. Is that yes. Correct? And what did you? What was the name of your shop in Denver? Uh, Pro Street Performance. Pro Street Performance, and that was in business for nine years. And you moved to Havasu because um, just to get out of the busy lifestyle of Denver and all the crime and to come where we wanted to be, where we came to vacation all the time. Okay, now you mentioned that you had, um, can you talk to him? Sorry. Uh, you mentioned that you got held at gunpoint a couple times. Twice. Held at gunpoint, <laughs> gunpoint twice. And you Three had... vehicles stolen, house broken into twice, and gunpoint twice, so it's just time to go. Time to go. Now, how many, uh, how many times have you been held at gunpoint in Havasu? There's none. <laughs> how many vehicles have been stolen? None. So to date, the only thing you've lost is a prop, right? That's it. <laughs> now, one of your mottos is uh, you never leave anything outside. So you have a, a really bitching, basically a mirror of, of Havasu Customs suite next door. That's your storage Correct. area? Correct. We store all the boats and cars inside. Nothing's left outside ever. Okay. Now, how big is your paint booth here? Uh, 28 by 16. So you can do trailers. You can do full-on boats. I mean, Right. Okay. And... Um, so you're most known for uh, exotic creations, not just uh, not just paint, but actually building the whole thing from the frame up. Right, from the frame up, um, everything from cars, boats, trucks, bikes, whatever somebody has a flavor for custom on. Okay, tell us a little bit about your bike. Uh, that's an 82KZ1000. It's like probably... 10% um, of it is left original Kawasaki. The rest of it's all... Hand fabricated and custom parts from other manufacturers. That's a drag bike, right? It yeah, it was a drag bike once in its life, and then converted it, leaving it as a drag bike and converting it back into a street bike with full charging system and all the lights and turn signals and plate and everything it would take to make a, a vehicle DOT. Now, tell me a little bit about your excursion there. That's a 2000 excursion with a V10 with a Candy Bell supercharger on it, 600 horse. Um, lift kit, uh, custom paint job done as a country squire wagon. If Ford was to do a country squire today, that's what they would do is it would look like that. Okay. Now, yesterday, uh, we were in here and I noticed that you do everything from, um, from stripper poles to, to blowers. Uh, Correct. So we looked at a, uh, pro charged, hi, how are you? I'm uh, you looked at a Pro Charge Nordic? Yeah, it's a 28 Nordic Heat with a Pro Charger on it, 496 with a Raylar intake and a set of headers. Um, <coughs> and then a um, uh, custom fuel system for it and and numerous other things. Okay, and that's that Nordic right there, right? No, this one here has got a 525 in it. Okay. Um, so uh, this is all just for my notes, so it's not a, like an actual interview. Interview, but you we so this is all just this for, my is for notes. his notes. So yeah. yeah. Okay, so have a few customs. Um, take us through a, a day in the life of Brian. You know what time do you get here? <laughs> <laughs> Shops open at eight, and we're typically here until five each day, um, unless there's something that's pressing that somebody needs to get back right away, and it takes extra time. Then we'll stay and get it done. Um, we try to meet deadline all the time on, on things. Um, we allow ourselves the appropriate amount of time to do the job correctly. It doesn't matter whether it's a 72 um, Sanger jet boat or a $250,000 fountain. Um, they all get treated the same, no matter what it is. Um, so we always allow ourselves the appropriate amount of time to do whatever creating we're doing and customizing or just general service, whatever it is. We allow the time to do it right. Okay, so you can jump off a big project. Yeah, we leave enough time on the big projects, enough window um, to where it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't hurt that project to jump off of it to do, you know, daily services on a boat um, or whatever we're doing, uh, you know, detail on on an interior or something for somebody. Um, most of our customers like to bring us all their stuff because we're kind of like, for the most part, other than upholstery, we're a one-stop shop. Okay, so you do everything except for upholstery and you send that up to Instagram. Right, and then that's kind of 
kind of there is some things that we'll do where we'll do in a hood scoop and I'll do I'll pull all the upholstery off. We're doing a blower, so we're doing a hood scoop. I'm gonna take them down to Ford. Oh, okay. Do you want to meet us down there when you're sure. done? Sure. Yeah. We'll go to the house. Okay, that sounds okay. awesome. Five days, five days. So, um, what we'll do is we'll take and do like we're doing a blower engine, and it wasn't, so we've got to do a scoop in it. I'll fabricate the scoop. I'll take all the upholstery off. I'll get all that work done to where we're not relying on the upholstery shop for anything but just the upholstery itself. And then typically, I'll put it eat the upholstery back on the panel after it's been sewn up and done what we need to do. So, I'm, And I'm real critical about how all that's done because I don't accept shoddy work. Okay. What is uh, your favorite project that you've done in Havasu? Oh, um, boy, that would be hard to say. Um, on a boat? Or a hot rod? Um, well, my favorite one is a 2008 uh, Shelby KR500 that we made 900 horse. And uh, that's probably my favorite one because the guy never takes it over 3,000 RPMs. And the only time the car gets taxed and run hard is when I've got it in my possession, checking <laughs> stuff out and doing stuff to it. What's your favorite boat you've done? Uh, What's the biggest boat project? The biggest boat project is 42-foot fountain doing twin 900s in it. Um, my favorite one is my sister's uh, flame with two 720 horses in her flame. That's and that the one was, that goes and gets on plane in under four seconds. Yeah, it's on plane in under four seconds and hits ninety uh, just moments after that, and then slowly walks up and goes to a hundred. Once it hits the window at ninety, it kind of walks a little bit harder to get to that hundred. But um, that's that's the most fun. That that boat will literally put a tickle in your stomach and pin you into the seat. So now uh, you you have two projects in here right now for. Uh one famous person and one quasi-famous person, obviously Scott Price from... Uh, yeah, CD Scott Price, Orleans. we're doing a 69 Chevelle complete paint for him, um, black with silver uh, SS... I'll start these things. Okay, so now we got Scott Price, black, Scott silver Scott Price, black, black, stripes. black, silver stripes, and then um, Paige Hammes, who she's the um, gal that has all the pink um, work clothes for women and does the home makeover, home edition TV show. And we just painted both of her jet skis, and of course, one of them went hot pink candy, and the other one went a, a kind of a, a bright blue candy for her uh, fiance. And uh, so we have some different celebrities that come through from time to time that we do things for. Very cool. How do they, how do you figure they find out about you? Is it just reputation? Just word of mouth and reputation. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Um, is there anything else we can think of that I should be putting in here? Or? Um, you know, just that. Um, when somebody's talking to me, typically I'm the one that does anywhere from 50% to 100% of the work on that project. That reminds me, uh, the other guy's name is Bob. Bob. What's his last name? Uh, Seidler. S-I-D-E-L-E-R. No, S-I-E-Y-D-L-E-R. Seidler.